Welcome back to my channel. Happy Halloween. If you're watching this when, you know, it's Halloween. I have done a tutorial today on the look that I'm wearing now. It'd be funny if I did a tutorial on a completely different look and I just look like this for my intro. But no, don't worry, I have done a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing. I just got a funny WhatsApp, sorry. It's like a fun Halloween look. It's not too scary. It's definitely not the scariest thing you're going to see this Halloween. But it's kind of cute. Sometimes it's nice to just look cute. <laughs> Happy Halloween and I'll see you in the next one. I, sorry, I apologise. You know what, I just have fun making this look today. I wanted to put some orange on my inner corner, um, so I did. It didn't look great, so thank God Charlotte Tilray came to my rescue and sorted that out. But yeah, I just enjoyed doing my makeup today and tried to keep in the Halloween theme a bit so that it's like a Halloween look. But yeah, I hope you like the look and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Happy Halloween, guys! I hope you have a fun time, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you in my next video. So, seeing as this is my Halloween video, I decided to leave my hair all natural because it looks kind of scary, doesn't it? <sighs> I'm going to stick to the foundation that I always use, and I'm sorry if you get bored of um, the fact that I use it, but I'm loving it, so yeah. I'm going to use my NARS foundation. Um, hmm. am I going to do my eyes first, I can't decide. So going in with my NARS foundation, the shade Mont Blanc, and I'm going to use my flat F80 Kabuki brush by Sigma. As normal, a few. I pumped up on the back of the hand and then really light handedly dotting it over my face. And um, I just went to the gym. <laughs> and yeah, I just wanted to let you know that. No, I'm joking. I'm telling you for a reason. Um, so my face is like a bit more red than normal. So, sorry for that. It would legit be a good um, Halloween look at this point if I just finish like this. Pretty freaking scary. And then bending it in. This is what my hair is like naturally. It's a pretty frizzy mess, but it's kind of Halloween appropriate. Also, you know what? This is a makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna throw my brushes around. This is a makeup channel, okay? I never mentioned anything about this being a hair channel, so. Joking. So, making sure it's fully blended in. <sighs> it's getting hot in here. Come on, sponge. <sighs> Next, going over. Well, I'm not going over, but going around my eyes with some concealer. And the one I'm going to use is my NARS in the shade Vanilla or Light 2. So, I'm going to put a bit more on than I normally would. Being Halloween and everything, I don't know what bearing that has on my concealer. But, it actually just freaking feel like it. And seeing as I'm going to put quite a lot of makeup on my eyelid, I'm thinking um, I'll just use my concealer as well on my eyelids. So then I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge to blend this in and then I'm going to go straight over the top with my, this is such a mouthful, Loose Setting Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier. Got my glass ready to um, dip my sponge into. And then this is just a really light pressing motion on the skin. It does make the best sound though, doesn't it? So this is just giving extra coverage, to be honest. Oh, I didn't actually get my powder ready. Um, normally I would have to tap some off into the lid, like just go like that, but um, I don't because I had it upside down. So um, it's already ready there waiting for me.
So just going over that now with the powder. So just straight over where I put my concealer, just um, putting some setting powder and blending in slightly. And then going over the rest of the face as well where I just put that. I'm going to lightly just set the rest of my face using the same powder and just any big fluffy brush just to leave a good finish. I'm going to use my Mega 3 Urban Decay palette and my MAC 224 blending brush and I'm just going to go in first of all with the shade Limit which is this one. So I'm just loving like applying a light wash of this kind of on the brow bone. So just blending this into um, mainly the brow bone so like kind of a bit above the crease just to kind of like um, lengthen the eyes a bit so like pulling it out at the side as well and buffing it into the brow bone and I'm also making my eyelid taut at this point so that I don't have any wrinkles while I'm trying to apply this because you don't want to create any um, creases in your eyeshadow so um, just basically applying this in like small circular motions to the eye brow bone and then like pulling it out at the end next I'm going to go in with um, a shade that I actually don't use very often um, so I started making this little MAC palette and I'm going to use the colour it's called Big One and it's this really cute, like, um, warm purple shade. And I'm going to use my um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush to apply this and blend it in. This is such a cute colour, I really should use it more. I'm actually just going to swap to my MAC 217 real quick. Yeah, this is cute. So I'm just kind of applying it to this outer section of the eye here. Um, blending it in and also pulling it out a little bit. So really concentrating it in this um, outer part of the eye. Just again doing small circular motions to blend it in just over here. And then like going around my eye socket um, to about halfway. And then when I feel like most of it is off the brush, bringing my brush a little bit further in just to bring a little bit of colour a bit further in as well. Next I'm going to deepen that up a little bit with, I think this may have been limited edition. It's a MAC pigment and it's in the shade 300 Gain. I'm going to put this on a smaller brush, the JH40, which is this really small um, brush. And I'm going to keep this uh, much tighter to the lash line. Um, so I'm just going to apply it to this outer section and I'm going to put it into the bit that's the corner bit there. So the shimmer I'm going to use on the inner part of the lid is from my Charlotte Tilbury palette. I'm going to keep it purple so I'm going to go with the confident section at the end. The one I'm going to use is the middle one. I'm just going to use my finger as well. And I'm going to put that over the inner part of my eye with my finger first of all and then I'm going to swap to a small synthetic brush just to get further in and neaten up around the edges in there in there just blending it in at the edges on the inner part of the eye with this brush I'm going to use um, my black shadow from my Morphe 3502 palette which is called Wiz so it's just right down here in the palette. So I'm going to apply this with my JH43, which is a small definer brush. And I'm going to basically just go like this. One, two, tap it off. And I'm going to start to work this into the upper part of the eye. Um, and this is more of a stamping motion.
So I'm going to leave my lid like that for now. I'm going to do my lower lash line. And I'm going to mix up a little bit, so I'm not going to use purples on the bottom. I'm going to go in with the shade, first of all I'm going to use the shade Terracotta in the 3502 palette, which is this orange colour. And I'm just going to put a light wash of this all over the eye, again using the JH40 brush. I feel like this actually looks really cute. It kind of looks like my under eye is bleeding as well, which is in theme with the whole Halloween vibe. Next I'm going to go over the top of that with the colour Spice because I am so clumsy. <laughs> As I was saying, because I was really clumsy, um, I dipped my brush into the colour next door, which is this red colour, and it's called Spice. So I am going to spice up my eyes a little bit and add a bit of that because I did it anyway by accident, so I may as well go all in at this point. And I'm bringing the shade all the way along to the inner corner. Maybe I will um, highlight the inner corner with some red. I just really fancy it. I know that's weird. I think I'm just gonna do it. I really wanna do it. I don't know why. So yeah, I'm gonna do it. First of all, because I've got some of this on my finger from a second ago when I was just swatching it, I'm gonna put this um, underneath my eye and it's the color Ruby. I'm really loving this colour. So I'm going to start off putting it in the centre and see how we go. No, me, I'm probably going to end up putting it all over. I'm going to use the colour source. Um, it's that one. And yeah, my hand is just covered in makeup. I'm going to swap to a really teeny brush, JH41 brush, to apply a bit of sauce. Just dipping it in the shadow and then I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus just to make sure that it's accentuated as much as possible, you know. I'm actually just going to go over the inner corner with a bit of this colour here which is in the Power Eye section. And I'm just going to go over that orange colour. Oh yes, now she's really speaking to me. I'm going to stamp some of the shade Wiz, which was the black one again on the definer brush, just on the lower lash line, just really into the actual lashes, just to um, kind of bring the look together a bit more. Next I'm going to apply fake lashes, and the ones I'm going to use are Doa by Lily Lashes, so I'm just going to stick these on. I'm going to go into the rest of my face, my bronzer, my highlighter, my eyebrows, and then I'm going to be back in a second and we're going to get Halloweeny. Oh, and a second, honey. Now for the halloween -y bit, I'm going to line my lips first of all with my MAC, uh, with my MAC lip liner in the shade Subculture. Next, I'm going to use my, um, I haven't used this for ages, but it's, um, a matte lip bullet um, from Topshop and it's in the shade, I'm actually not sure, but it's like this ready shade. So I'm going to use this small brush that I used earlier to hopefully apply what's going to look like some blur. Keeping with the eyes, I'm going to use my Wicked Kylie Lip Kit. And then I'm also going to apply a bit more of this blood situation to my eyes. I'm feeling like that's my vibe. So there you have the finished look. I hope you like it. For me it's like um, a bit more of a 
like fun Halloween vibe to like just really scary but it's still got that blood around my lips like I've just eaten someone and um, my eyes bleeding so you know it's in the theme of Halloween but I hope you like it <laughs> I, I feel like this look is so me it's so like fun makeup vibe but with like a little bit of blood I'm liking it I feel like it's not too much I feel like this is perfect for if you've <clears throat> got a Halloween event that's not like crazy it's not like you're going out and everyone's gonna be looking like they just walked off some sort of zombie film set if you just want to like go out it's slightly a bit less a bit more low-key but still like it's Halloween so you've got to do something then I feel like this look is perfect for you but yeah I would definitely do this sort of look for Halloween because I just feel like unless you're going unless you're going mad and you want to look like a zombie or a ghost this is a really fun look to to vibe in. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Wow! Ooh. Happy Halloween!